We were just talking in the break a little bit about uh, sugar and blood pressure. And so what's the correlation there? Yeah, I mean, you know, blood pressure is a, a big issue. It's one of the most common questions I get, you know, here and in the office. Oh, is interesting. What can I do naturally for blood pressure? Okay. Um, supplementally, we don't have a lot. I mean, certainly fish oil, getting her vitamin D right, CoQ10, those, those things can help. Mm -hmm. Classically, everybody talks about salt. Uh, and, okay. and certainly some people are salt sensitive and, and lowering the sodium intake can definitely lower blood pressure. Okay. Um, and, and of course, most of the sodium the average American consumes is from processed and restaurant foods. So sure. eating whole foods avoids that. But now we have some evidence, and then this is you know, a couple studies over the last two or three years, mm -hmm. that you know, 12 ounces less soda lowers blood pressure. So 12 ounces, one can per day less than what somebody's drinking lowers their blood pressure. And that's the sugar correlation it, component. It's the sugar correlation. Or is it the caffeine? No, it's sugar. I sugar. Mean, it's definitely sugar because even like the, the uncaffeinated, you know, okay. decaffeinated soda. So it, it's, it's, you know, it's the high fructose corn syrup. So hmm. that fructose has an impact on the liver increases you know insulin resistance with his diabetes but but that raises blood pressure so we we don't often talk about processed foods and sugar and their impact on blood pressure mm -hmm. it's likely that that that's probable that that's more impactful than, than, than salt mm -hmm. so it, you know it's why we have to be cutting back on processed foods because processed foods actually have all of those things they've, they they've got the sugar, sugar and the salt they've got the salt they've got the inflammatory fats so you know, really look at that. And, and now, you know, it's funny, I was at the grocery store uh, last week and, mm -hmm. and I, the, apparently the new trend is hanging these pop bottles along the grocery cart. I mean, yes. I mean that's not even a serving anymore. That's, that's two servings. The big so, pop bottles, yeah, yeah. Exactly, so now you're seeing, you know, again, we're, we're just drinking more and more and more of this stuff and, and driving blood pressure up and, and health, you know, just starts to fall apart from there. Mm -hmm. So cutting out soda, eliminating one can of soda per day can really lower your blood pressure. That's right interesting thing to do because not all of us can live a stress-free life. So well, that's right. I mean, there's all those other components. Sure. A and again, we're not even saying eliminate soda altogether. Just reduce Just it. Cut it down. Okay. That's a good thing to know. So thank you. Sure. I always learn stuff. This is great.